Hello everyone, you are welcome to solve this nice exponential equation here, which is 5 to the power of x minus 5 to the power of x minus 1. This is equal to 30. So what is the value of x given that x is not equal to 0? So let's provide a solution from here. Now we have 5 to the power of x subtract. Now 5 to the power of x minus 1, this is in the form of a to the power of n minus m and this can be expressed as a to the power of n over a to the power of m applying this exponent property then here we have 5 to the power of x divided by 5 this is equal to 30 now we have 5 to the power of x here is common so we can factor out 5 to the power of x so that now into the parentheses we have 1 minus 1 over 5 cross the parentheses this is equal to 30. So that now here we have 5 to the power of x into the parentheses remember 1 is a whole number so this is 1 over 1 minus 1 over 5 here this is equal to 30. So here we have 5 to the power of x into the parentheses the LCM here is 5 so that now we have 5 divided by 1 this is 5 times 1 so we have 5 here subtract 5 divided by 5 this is 1 times 1 this is 1 cross the parentheses this is equal to 30 so we have 5 to the power of x multiplying by 5 minus 1 this is 4 over 5 this is equal to 30 Now let's multiply both sides by 5 over 4 and also this side by 5 over 4. Here we have 5 to the power of x into the parentheses. 5 minus 1, this is 4 over 5. Cross the parentheses, this is equal to 30. The next step from here, let's multiply both sides by 5 over 4. Here we have 5 over 4. Let's simplify here. So that now we have 5 to the power of x. This is equal to, we can simplify here. That is 30 divided by 2. This is equal to 15. And 4 divided by 2, this is 2. So 5 times 15 times 5, this is equal to 75 over 2. To solve for x here, we introduce logarithm on both sides. So that we have rock 5 to the power of x. This is equal to rock. 75 over 2. Now, rock 5 to the power of x, this is in the form of rock a to the power of n, and this can be expressed as n rock a. Applying this power rule property, rock 5 to the power of x becomes x rock 5. This is equal to rock 75 over 2. Let's divide both sides by rock 5 and also on this side by rock 5. Let's simplify rock 5 and rock 5 here so that now x is equal to rock 75 over 2 divided by rock 5. The next step is that rock 75 over 2, this is in the form of rock a over b which we can express as rock a subtract rock b applying this logarithm property then we have x is equal to rock 75 divided by rock 2 no by rock 5 subtract rock 2 divided by rock 5 The next step is that we can express 75. This is the same thing as 25 multiplied by 3. So that now x here is equal to rock 25 multiplied by 3, then divided by rock 5, then subtract rock 2 divided by 
row 5. Now we have that row 25 times 3. This is in the form of row A multiplied by B. And this can be expressed as row A plus row B. Let's apply this logarithm property. Now applying this logarithm property, then we have x is equal to, this is row 25 divided by row 5. Then plus, here we have row 3 divided by row 5. Subtract row 2 divided by row 5. The next step is that we can express 25. This is the same thing as 5 to the power of 2. Substituting this, then we have x is equal to rog 5 to the power of 2 divided by rog 5, then plus rog 3 divided by rog 5 from here, then subtract rog 2 divided by rog 5. So applying the power rule property here, applying the power rule property here, that is rog a to the power of n. This can be expressed as n rog rog a. So that now x is equal to 2 rog 5 divided by rog 5. Then plus here we have rog 3 divided by rog 5. Then subtract here we have rog 2 divided by rog 5. So rock 5 and rock 5 simplifies so that now x is equal to 2 plus rock 3 over rock 5 and rock 2 over rock 5. This is in the form of rock A divided by rock B, which we can express as rock A to base B. Applying this logarithm property, then here we have rock 3 to base 5 subtract rog 2 to base 5. So this is the value of x from here. The next step is to verify that this value of x satisfies the equation. So if you recall, we have that 5 to the power of x. Now subtract 5 to the power of x subtract 1. This is supposed to give us a value of 30. So substituting the value of x from here, we have 5 to the power of 2 plus rock 3 to base 5, subtract rock 2 to base 5, then minus, here we have 5 to the power of 2 plus rog 3 to base 5 minus rog 2 to base 5, then subtract 1. This is supposed to give us a value of 30. Now, again from here, we have 5 to the power of 2 plus, this is rog. 3 to base 5, subtract rock 2 to base 5, then subtract here we have 5 raised to the power of 2 minus 1, this is equal to 1, plus rock 3 to base 5, then subtract rock 2 to base 5, this is supposed to give us a value of 30. Now the next step is that 5 to the power of 2, plus rock 3 to base 5 minus rock 2 to base 5. This is in the form of a to the power of n plus m, which we can express as a to the power of n multiplied by a to the power of m. As well as here, we have a to the power of n minus m, which we can express as a to the power of n divided by a to the power of m. Applying these two exponent properties here, then we have 5 to the power of 2 multiplied by 5 to the power of rog 3 to base 5 divided by, here we have 5 
to the power of rob 2 to base 5. Then we have minus 5 to the power of 1, multiplied by 5 to the power of rob 3 to base 5, divided by 5 to the power of rob 2 to base 5. This is supposed to give us a value of 30. 5 to the power of 2, this is the same thing as 25, times 5 to the power of rock 3 to base 5, divided by 5 to the power of rock 2 to base 5, subtract 5 to the power of 1, this is 5, then times 5 to the power of rock 3 to base 5, divided by 5 to the power of rock 2 to base 5, this is supposed to give us a value of 30. 5 to the power of rock 3 to base 5, this is in the form of a to the power of rock b to base a, and this is actually equal to b. So this implies that 5 to the power of rock 3 to base 5, this is equal to 3. And that 5 to the power of rock 2 to base 5, this is equal to 2. So that now, here we have 25 multiplied by 5 to the power of rock 3 to base 5, which is 3, divided by 2, then subtract 5, multiplied by 5 to the power of rock 3 to base 5, which is equal to 3, so times 3 here, divided by 2, this is supposed to give us a value of 30. So 25 times 3, this is equal to 75 over 2, then subtract 5 times 3 here, this is equal to 15 over 2. This should give us a value of 30. So we have that the LCM here is 2. 2 divided by 2, this is 1 times 75. So this is 75 minus 2 divided by 2 is 1 times 15. This is 15. This is supposed to give us a value of 30. So 75 minus 15, this is equal to 60 divided by 2, and this is supposed to give us a value of 30. So 60 divided by 2, this is equal to 30, and this is equal to 30. So this implies that the left add side is equal to the right add side. And this proves that the value of x which is 2 plus rock 3 to base 5 minus rock 2 to base 5 satisfies the equation. So can you follow the steps? Like this video and subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye bye for now.